Evergreen Healthcare, what we specialize in is helping the patient understand the process of choosing a good doctor. Today we have Dr. Gomez, ophthalmologist. Dr. Gomez, thank you for taking the time today to interview with us. Thank you for having me. A pleasure. Thank you for having me. You know what, doctor, a lot of times when we have patients, the patients ask us, you know what, how do we know that doctor is good? Well, you know, you can go reviews, you can go uh, education, you can go with referrals, a lot of things. Please tell us what you think a good doctor is. I think a good doctor is a human being who has the training and experience to be able to offer his patients the knowledge that they need to make an informed decision regarding their health, in my case, their visual health. My responsibility and the way I, I look at what I do, my job as a, an ophthalmologist is to tell patients that this is the condition that um, I can see and these are the options that you have. I, I think that patients, um, my responsibility as a surgeon is to always give patients a diagnosis and give them a range of options and I can uh, tell them what the advantages and disadvantages of choosing a given option is and what I think is the best option for them. So for example, in cataract surgery, if I have a patient who uh, does not want to use glasses after cataract surgery, and they want a multifocal lens, and they think that is the best possible lens for them, but they have dry eye syndrome, for example, or there is a problem in their macula, in their retina, I cannot choose, and I cannot implant a multifocal lens for them. The doctor, I'm paying you. I'm telling you, I want this and I'm paying you. Oh, and it's even a, it's a premium lens. It's a more expensive surgery, but that is not the right option for them. Because I know that if I go ahead and do what they ask me to do, me being the surgeon, the one that has the knowledge to uh, make the right decision, I am not improving their visual quality, and I'm not gonna give them the outcome that they need, because I know that they will have issues with their multiple lens. And that is where my responsibility, and there is, that, that is where my passion as an ophthalmology comes in to tell the patient, although that seems like a good option, the best option for you is this. Um, as long, I believe that as long as the patient has the knowledge and I give him um, the reasons why a certain option is the best for them, I think most of my patients understand that, they appreciate that, and I think that once they have their operation and they see that they have a good outcome, even though that's not perhaps what they were coming in for, they, they see me as a good doctor because I have chosen the best for them. I think that as an ophthalmologist, that is what makes me a good ophthalmologist, that I can give patients the best option, the, something that will work for them, preventing complications, uh, making sure they have a, a good recovery, making sure that their vision is as best as they can be. So doctor, I, I know you we've, we've talked about this. You studied in, in Spain, correct? Correct. And you also studied in the U.S. You studied in these two parts of the world, and you also studied here in Costa Rica. Why did you do that? I, I went to medical school here. Um, I lived when I was in, back in, mid, in middle school, I was in the United States. And I knew I wanted to, to go to medical school in Costa Rica, but I knew I wanted to do something different in Europe. Um, when I went to Europe, I, I was already certain that I wanted to become an ophthalmologist. I knew that ophthalmology in Barcelona, in Spain, was it's one of the best in the world. And so I wanted to... Uh, go to Barcelona to get the best possible education in ophthalmology. Once I was there in Spain, I realized that I really liked arthroplastic surgery, which is a subspecialty in ophthalmology. Okay. And um, I knew that one of the best places in the world to do that was in the United States. So um, I did all my, my examinations in order to get a license in the United States to be able to do a fellowship there uh, in order to specialize in, in arthroplastic surgery. So it's always been a matter of getting the best possible training in uh, what I've known to be the best possible places to get that training. So in the case of ophthalmology, Barcelona is world renowned for its ophthalmology and so rocket plastic surgery in the United States. So that's why I, I did that. So what you can see here is a physician that went above and beyond, not just in his home country, but went outside the country. Now, when you went outside the country, can you, can you tell them a little bit about what each area helped you and how you're doing in the practice today? So in Spain, um, I, what I really learned was the care for the patient in terms of a medical system that um, 
offers a broad medical coverage. And so I was able to do um, a lot of surgery for people who could not afford the surgery. And so that helped me to help a lot of people in Spain um, working at Hospital Clinico, which is a, um, a public hospital in Barcelona, and which also does private medicine, so it's a mixed hospital. And that really allowed me to see the human side of ophthalmology, because ophthalmology deals with a lot of conditions which affect everybody, like cataract, for example, or retina. And so being there, I was not only able to get the best possible education and training, but I was able to offer uh, my expertise, even as investment, um, to people who couldn't afford medicine. Also, I was able to train other residents when I was a you know, third and fourth year resident, so I was able to teach, which I love teaching. Teaching is one of my passions, and so I was always the resident that wanted to teach the first, second uh, year residents, and that was one of the most uh, gratifying experiences for me in Spain when I was a resident, to be able to teach um, the, young, the, young, the younger residents. I think it's important sometimes that when you, be, you, you pass from student to teacher, it's, a, it's a, get, a very good gift that some people you don't take advantage of that and you don't even exploit that. And I'm glad you were able to uh, help others. Now, you, the U.S., but how is that different? So um, I went to the middle school in the U.S., so I always, always had the American um, experience in me. The United States is let me see how to phrase this. <laughs> you know what? I want you to phrase it the way it comes out to you because I think you're, as a physician, your your thought of how you help people, you know, just tell us the truth. I was incredibly privileged to be able to do my fellowship in the United States. Um, I was able to do a surgical fellowship accredited by the American Society of Ophthalmic Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. That is an incredible privilege um, because it is a very difficult program to get into. And I was able to get the same education as the American fellows um, because the society accepted me uh, to be able to train me in order to practice active plastic surgery here in Costa Rica. So I was, I have the great privilege to be um, one of the I believe there's only about two uh, ASOPIS members here in Central America to be able to have a um, fellowship by the ASOPIS uh, Society in the United States to be able to have the best possible training in ocular plastic surgery um, and to bring that expertise and that training here in Costa Rica to be able to apply it to my patients. And one of the greatest and most gratifying experiences that I've had here in my practice in Costa Rica is that I've been able to offer patients uh, the results that you can only achieve uh, by an ASOPIS surgeon in the United States because being trained by the American Society of uh, Ophthalmic Plastic Surgery um, have been able to offer patients the results that they can achieve in the United States and um, I've been able to do that here in Costa Rica um, being one of a very few in Central America that can actually uh, offer patients that, that experience that you can get in North America. So, what we're talking about here is uh, an ophthalmologist that has three facets of the world, a European, a Costa Rican here in Central America, and also a U.S. version. And we take all those versions with an accreditation that few in Central America have. This is something that when we look at physicians and we work with physicians, it's something special. This is uh, something that when you're choosing an ophthalmologist, don't choose them just based on price or if they they look at you right or they're smiling. That's not everything. Accreditation is everything. I want to thank Dr. Gomez for taking the time to uh, meet with us. And if you're choosing for an ophthalmologist here in Costa Rica, this is a surgeon advocate. Thank you very much. Thanks so much.